Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, June 9th to the 10th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, the information can be found in the description box below. All right, I'm going to grab one more card. And then I'm going to get a channeled message for you from Spirits. One more card for Virgo. Okay, the Emperor at the bottom of the deck, Virgo. We have the Tower. We have the Two of Swords, the Chariots, and the Lovers. Well, 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 Virgo. Okay, the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's get this message, Virgo, and see what Spirit has for you. Stabilization, Virgo. They're wanting you to stabilize yourself in any way that you that you know how or what's comfortable with you. And I'm feeling this stability can be in the career sector. It can be in body, mind, and spirit. It can be in any area. But... They're saying that you're unbalanced in some way. Something's unbalanced within you and you feel this. So you need to address it. It needs to be addressed, Virgo. Okay. Now it could be that something's going to happen and this is going to cause some instability but i'm not necessarily seeing it's a bad thing or feeling it's a bad thing okay because the tower is scorpionic energy right it's about transformation it's about something coming in une unexpectedly yes but this can be many things right meeting somebody um that's the love of your life that could be a tower moment where it just you know it's there you don't know where the hell it came from and it shocks the shit out of you right that's one thing that could happen here with the two of swords if it's not necessarily a love relationship that's coming in as the tower and it's showing itself in another way don't ignore it okay because it's going to make you unstable because whatever this is is leading you to this so whatever this tower is, it may actually require you to move, I'm feeling. But within the moving, you're going to find your soulmate. It's like, this is interesting because in the love, the lover's card here, there's always that third energy, right? That tries to come in between the lovers. But with here, I'm feeling it's this tower energy that's the impetus to pulling you two together. It's like this had to happen in order to get you to where you need to go, okay? Now, this could be reversed where th this will happen in the other person's life and they're going to be moving towards you. But it's like it's something you cannot see. You may feel if you pay attention to your intuition that something's coming, okay? Let's put that back there. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Queen of Wands, yeah. See, it's like you don't see this passion. You don't see this. This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. They could be into the magical arts, but this person is confident, is secure within themselves. They go after whatever it is that they want with a, a, a sure sense of themselves. They're very creative, very fun, very good looking. Tell me about the tower. Oh, that's funny. 
the emperor, which was at the bottom of the deck in the beginning. This tower somehow, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like this tower becomes your compass, right? It, it, this tower gets you to this emperor status in, in, in the sense that you're going to know the direction that you need to head in. Okay, this happened. Okay, well, in order to find my balance and stability, I got to go here. That's the chariot. That's movement. That's movement forward. That's taking control of your life and moving forward. So they're wanting you to balance, right? Balance, I got clear in that in spirit's message. So as long as you maintain your balance, you're going to be pulled. You're, you're going to lead yourself in the right direction. Okay, Virgo? And it's going to be in the arms of another. Okay. Tell me about the chariot. Huh. They just said, you know what song they're giving me? Yep, see? Ace of Cups. That's a beginning in love, and you don't even know it. They're giving me in the arms of an angel. You know that song? If you don't, look it up. Beautiful song. Clarifying the lovers is the Queen of Swords, which is Gemini energy. You're almost not going to believe this. Yeah, this may confuse you a little. Because you'll be so consumed with whatever the hell this was that by the time you get there, okay, this new love is going to catch you off guard. So what you're going to do is you're just going to be mercurial like you are and you're going to be like, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need to be balanced, right? Which spirit is saying, yes, you should. Okay, because you get two Gemini cards here. This could be a Gemini or somebody with Gemini in their chart here. Okay. This is going to be a very strong connection, a strong sexual connection. It's going to be something that you've always dreamed of. So you're going to intellectualize it first, but I don't think you're going to be able to do that for long. <laughs> yep. So there may be a choice that you need to make. Ten of Swords. Yeah. You need to... You need to trust this. That's the choice. Do I trust it or don't I? If I trust it, that means I have to let go of, of my previous relationship, of my previous hurts. Okay? And these previous hurts, these swords are almost like a safety net for you. You know, it's comfortable. I'm comfortable here. Yeah, I'm bleeding. Yeah. But I'm comfortable. Right? At least I'm protected. I'm not going anywhere. But you need to make the decision to let those Ten of Swords go in order to move on your path. So what advice does Spirit have for you? Wow. Heal. you got to let it go. You've got to let these Ten of Swords go. Whatever happened in the past, yep. Moving on, right? Whatever happened in the past, you need to, you need to get to peace. Peace. You need to peace out. You need to find peace within. That balance within that healing. Okay? The bottom of the deck. Yep, ten of wands. You got tens all over the place. Let it go. It's no longer your burden to bear. All right? They don't belong to you anymore. These ten of swords, they're not yours anymore. Give them back. Okay? Because look what you have here. Look what you have here, Virgo. Look. You see? You see? All right, Virgo. I hope that made sense. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you are interested in a personal reading with me that way, this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. The link to my Etsy shop can be found in the description box below. You have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.